While we're getting smarter on the pitch, wiser makes my home smarter. Jack, round two of the uh, European Champions Cup, you got up to a fantastic start last week against Montpellier. I guess it's a case of just building on that now. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, we looked back on the game and there were, you know, there were some really good things and we played some, you know, some good rugby, but I think we had a bit of an honest chat about that, that first 25 minutes and it's been an area that we um, have, we've probably looked at in a few other games and we're not quite getting right. So, um, but yeah, it was, a, it was a great start, sort of the dream start for us. Um, you know, and there's a lot of boys there who put, put, some, put their hands up and had some great games. In these COVID times, it's important to rack up points as quickly as possible. We saw, even with last season, five points qualified us to the yeah. next stage. Um, it's a case of just literally going for it at this stage, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's uh, yeah, it's always there, isn't it? I guess, and um, but it's something that the boys haven't really focused on too much. Um, we're just trying to get our preparation right at the moment. Um, we've looked uh, looked into Glasgow with you know a great amount of detail um, because we know the threat that they can pose. You've been up there before. They say you've yeah. probably got a, a nice briefing from the coaches and Hoggy and Gray and people like that this week, but yeah. they are a class side and they proved that against La Rochelle last week. Yeah, I think everyone saw their performance uh, last week against La Rochelle and they've got some real quality on the pitch. Um, you know, there, there's a lot of threats sort of all around the park, uh, a lot of set piece threats, lots of open play threats. Um, and I think they, they went away to a tough place at La Rochelle and, you know, there were probably a couple couple moments there. If they went in their favour, they could have probably had a be- uh, had the better result. So w- we're fully aware of the challenge that we're facing this this uh, Saturday and we, we know that we're going to have to be considerably better than we were against Montpellier. Rob's talked about seeing the real Chiefs starting to come back into play. We were missing players through unavailability, injury, whatever, but last few games, back to the kind of extra Chiefs we know, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. The sort of the last three games have been really important for us to sort of, um, yeah, get back into that sort of Chiefs that Chiefs uh, way of play that we that we've been so good at uh, sort of over the last couple of years. Um, I think we yeah we all know that we started slow in the Premiership um, and the, but we we did still have some good moments in there. We just probably couldn't piece it together over a full eighty, um, and we probably had some moments where we took a breath and that's where opposition sides sort of. Um, took advantage of us I think so the last three games we, we've really tried to nail in our focus into every single area of the pitch um, and you know I think the boys you know the, the boys who have been so great for us over the last few years you know Simo, Dave, Skins, Hilly you know they've really put their hands up and um, sort of stamped their authority on, on games which has been big for us. The media just been asking you the obvious question what's it like being with your brother um, I'm going to ask something similar but yeah, <coughs> good, isn't it? You know, your brother's really making strides and He's pushing you. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. 100%, um, You know, I'm watching him train with sort of envy at the moment. He's running around, um, making breaks. You know, his passing and his his skills are are, are way above his years. Um, So, yeah, it's a really proud moment for both of us. You know, it was his European debut on Saturday and to be be able to share the pitch with him for, you know, 10 seconds was, you know, it was a really special moment for, um, for me and, um, something, you know, a moment that we both look back and we will look back on when we're having a beer when we're a bit older with very fond memories. Jack, it wasn't all that long ago that a young Jack Maunder was making his European debut in the <laughs> I think he's yeah. going to try that night. Um, but it, it, it's, it's huge, isn't it? And this weekend, potentially, all being well, touch wood. <laughs> <laughs> um, Centurion, how special is that going to be? You're going you're gonna to have a cup like your dad. Yeah, um, yeah, I sort of can't really believe it, um, to be honest, and I feel... Um, a little bit embarrassed with the company that I'm going to be. I'm going to be with. You know, when I first started out, and Nolsey and Dicky were get, all getting their hundred caps. So I remember thinking, you know, bloody hell, wow, that'd be that'd be amazing one day. Um, and just think of, you know, all the all the people I've got to meet, and you know, the memories that we've had over the last six years. You know, I really do feel extremely fortunate. And um, but and yeah, I do have to pinch myself sometimes. That, um, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed this Saturday. Um, being the hundredth game, um, yeah, really special. I'm going to be, yeah, we're very proud. It wasn't all that long ago we won a double. Um, it's a special moment, but you know that feeling of what a European win can bring, and yeah. I imagine that drives you all, doesn't it? Yeah, hundred um, percent. I think 
it was a very special day for all of us and you know we had a, we had quite a few special days after that um, and sort of the celebrations just uh, sort of kept on going which were really good fun um, and but there, there's boys I think we, we spoke about at the start of this year how there's some boys that haven't experienced it and the responsibility to get those boys into those into those scenarios into those big games I think is, is just as important and I think the strongest thing about this club is we all want those boys who haven't experienced it you know we're dying for them to experience those sort of big games those big moments you know those beers that you have after those finals um you know they're second to none and they're the best feelings ever um and we want everyone to experience that so that's definitely driving us at the moment but you know one win isn't isn't enough you know we need to go to a very tough place this saturday and you know hopefully pick up a win